Hi guys. Some people have messaged me on Twitter asking what's going to happen to Linnaean Hydra, the eight-core beast of a workstation I built some eight or nine months ago, now that I've decided to go with the Intel Skull Canyon NUC as my daily driver, albeit with the Razor Core external GPU dock for heavy lifting. Initially, I did mention I'd be parting it out, but having had a chance to think it through, I've decided that while I certainly will be disassembling it, it won't be to part it out. Not the majority of components, anyway. I actually had another build video planned for later in the year, which is to replace my primary storage machine, the Synology NAS, which is a DS412 Plus that I bought back in 2012 and I've been extremely happy with. In fact, it's my second Synology unit and I can't rate them highly enough. So much so that I intended to buy one of their larger 8 drive units, but instead of spending eight or nine hundred dollars, I figured I may as well throw the parts I already have into a rack mount case and build my own far more powerful server for a lot less money. So I've had a very busy weekend tearing my little home office and studio apart and putting together my new storage server. Although I'll be reusing most of the parts from Lone and Hydra, namely the PSU, motherboard, CPU, RAM and even the SATA SSDs, I did have to get a few new parts in. First of course was the case. I bought a very shallow audio equipment rack last week, and that means the majority of rack mount server cases just won't fit in it, especially ones that take a full size ATX motherboard, ATX power supply, and still give you a few hot swap 3.5 inch drive bays on the front. In fact, with those limitations and the 16 inch max depth available to me, the only case I could find was the Norco RPC 4308, which is a 4U unit that's just over 15 inches deep, but still manages to squeeze in 8 drive bays. As much as I like motherboard RAID 0 for speed, data storage in a server is a different matter entirely and I want to run RAID 6, which means using a real hardware RAID card unless I want performance to fall through the floor. So I grabbed an LSI 9271-8i card which supports up to 8 SAS or SATA drives, has 1GB of onboard cache as well as battery backup support. It's worth mentioning that neither the RAID card nor the case include the two mini SAS to mini SAS cables that you'll need to connect them to each other, so don't forget to order a couple. Naturally, I need some storage drives and I wanted to go big and fast, which had me initially considering Seagate Enterprise models, but these HGST Death Star NAS drives have the same 7200 RPM spindle speed and the same 128 megabytes of cache at a much lower price point. I grabbed three 6 terabyte models to begin with, but I actually have a fourth on the way already. The Nay and Hydra was water-cooled, but I can't bring myself to do that in a server that runs 24-7. So I swapped out the NZXT Kraken X61 for a Noctua NH-U9S, which is a relatively compact and, most importantly, quiet unit, which has been cooling the 5960X in the tower for the past week with no issue. Reviews of the Norco case mentioned that the stock 80mm rear fans were obnoxiously loud. Um, not an issue in a data centre, but definitely unacceptable in a rack cabinet that's just a couple of feet away from me and where I record my audio. So I bought a pair of Noctua NF-A8s and swapped them out immediately. The 980 Ti video card that was in Linnaean Hydra would be going into the Razer Core, so I grabbed this 750 Ti to replace it. Although a pretty capable 1080p card, uh, I won't be gaming on the server, all I need is something to draw the desktop, but I might use it for rendering in addition to storage, so we'll see what this little card can do on that front. Server equipment's a lot more fiddly to build than PCs. Uh, cable tie-downs and all sorts of other features that we now take for granted just aren't present in these cases. So it's a bit like building a PC back in the early days, so uh, enjoy.
that's what bays are easy to deal with. Just screw your drive into the tray and you're good to go. You can see through the top bays are illuminated as the drives in them, which are currently initialising into a RAID volume. I never heard the stock case fans, but I doubt they're as quiet as these Noctuas, and you can see how a deeper chassis wouldn't have fit in this shallow rack. Installation though was definitely fiddly. You have to remove the drive bays unless you want to tear your hands to shreds and do things blind. But overall, the case is a good value for a home setup like this.